If you have rheumatoid arthritis, you've probably heard of biologic treatments, but what exactly are they? How do they work? And most importantly, can they help you feel better? Let's break it all down in simple terms. Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Amber from Chicago Arthritis and Rajab Medicine. I specialize in non-surgical treatments for musculoskeletal conditions, rheumatology, regenerative medicine, and metabolic health. My goal is to help you live pain-free and optimize your health with cutting-edge treatments. Rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune disease where your immune system attacks your joints and tendons, leading to joint pain, stiffness, and swelling. Without proper treatment, it can lead to joint damage, disability, and long-term health complications. One of the most effective treatment options for RA are biologic medications a type of targeted therapy that works differently from traditional drugs. But before starting biologics, you need to understand how they work, their benefits and risks, and what to expect if you start treatment. Let's dive in. Biologic medications for RA are a class of targeted therapies derived from living cells that specifically block parts of the immune system involved in inflammation and joint damage. Unlike traditional RA medications, such as methotrexate, which broadly suppress the immune system, biologics target specific proteins or cells, such as TNF, interleukins, B cells, or T cells, that play a key role in RA. These medications help to reduce inflammation, slow or stop joint damage, relieve pain and stiffness, and improve overall function and mobility. Biologics are typically used when conventional disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs are not enough to control RA symptoms. They are usually administered by self-injection or IV infusion and require carefully monitoring by your rheumatologist due to their potential effects on the immune system. But they do a dramatically better job of controlling RA than any other medication class. In fact, in my experience, RA patients do dramatically better with these treatments and about 60% of RA patients will end up needing a biologic treatment at some point, allowing them to put their condition into a low disease activity status, dramatically improving their pain and function, allowing them to live a normal and healthy quality life, continue to work, and prevent the progression of the condition. There are different categories of biologics, each working on different parts of the immune system. For example, TNF blockers, they block tumor necrosis factor, a key player in inflammation. Examples include Humira, Enbrel, Remicade, Symphony, and Simsia. Then there are the interleukin inhibitors. They target specific proteins like interleukin-6 or interleukin-1 to reduce inflammation. Examples include Actemra, Kevzara, and Kinerec. Then there are B-cell inhibitors. They reduce B-cells, which produce the antibodies and play a key role in RA-related immune attacks. Examples include rituxan. And then there are T-cell inhibitors. They block T-cell activation, preventing them from attacking joints. An example includes orensia. Each biologic treatment works differently, and choosing the right one depends on your symptoms, medical history, and response of past treatments. So why consider biologics? They slow disease progression, preventing long-term joint damage. In the normal case of RA, there is a progressive worsening of disease. With biologic treatments, that progression stops over time. They reduce pain and inflammation dramatically better than prior treatments. Many patients see dramatic improvement in their conditions. They improve function and mobility, helping people to maintain an active lifestyle and continue to work. And they can work when other medications fail, often used when traditional treatments are not enough. Biologics have transformed RA treatment for the last 30 years, allowing many patients to live with less pain and better mobility. Like any medication, biologics are not perfect. They come with some potential risks you should be aware of. To begin with, there is an increased risk of infections associated with biologic treatments, but you also see that amongst any treatment class that we utilize for RA, including steroids, methotrexate, and leflunamide. So biologics suppress the immune system which means you might be more prone to infections such as colds, flus, and pneumonia. Before starting a biologic, your rheumatologist should screen for certain infections such as tuberculosis and hepatitis. 
Number two, potential injection or infusion reactions. Some biologics are given as an injection or an IV infusion, which can cause redness, swelling, or mild reactions at the injection site in some people. Number three, some studies have explored whether long-term TNF medication use can increase the risk of certain cancers like lymphoma, but the data is not conclusive. And the benefits of controlling RA often outweigh this theoretical risk. In the end, you need to select a treatment protocol with the assistance of your rheumatologist. And then, of course, there's also the high cost of biologic treatments. These can be expensive, but most insurance plans and with patient assistance programs can help to reduce your personal costs. The key takeaway here is that while biologics carry some risks, for most RA patients, the benefits far outweigh the downsides, especially when it comes to putting your condition into a well-controlled state, protecting your joints long-term, and allowing you to live a full and satisfying life. So what should you expect when starting a biologic treatment? Step one is a pre-treatment screening. Your rheumatologist should check for any signs of infection, such as tuberculosis and hepatitis, and do an overall health screening before starting to make sure it is safe and appropriate for you to start treatment. Step two, choosing the right biologic, and this depends on your disease severity, past treatments, and personal medical history. Step three is administration. Some biologics are self-injected at home every week or two weeks, while others require an infusion at a clinic, which can be every month to two months. And step four is monitoring for side effects. Regular checkups with your rheumatologist ensure you're responding well to treatment and not experiencing any significant side effects. So when will you see results? Some patients feel relief in a few weeks, while others may take three plus months to notice significant improvements. There are some common myths about biology treatments. To begin with, myth number one, biologics are just like steroids. Absolutely not. Unlike steroids, biologics do not cause weight gain, bone loss, or long-term metabolic issues. In fact, long-term steroid use is riskier than long-term biologic treatment use, which is why we utilize these treatments preferentially over steroids long-term. Myth number two, biologics will destroy my immune system. It's not accurate. They modulate your immune system, but they don't completely shut it down. Most patients live normal lives with appropriate precautions. Myth number three, if I feel better, I can stop taking treatment. Reality is that stopping a biologic abruptly can lead to worsening symptoms or flare-ups. Always consult your doctor first. Most patients will likely be on some treatment long-term. A small percentage will be able to taper off treatment over time. So to sum things up, is a biologic treatment right for your RA? Biologics are a game changer for many people with rheumatoid arthritis. If you try traditional medications but still have pain, stiffness, joint damage, and inflammation, a biologic may be the next step. They reduce inflammation better than prior treatments, they protect joints from long-term damage better than prior treatments, and they can improve your quality of life in a way that other treatments cannot. And they work better than these prior treatments, so if you're considering a biologic, talk to a specialist to find the right treatment for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more expert advice on rheumatology, regenerative medicine, and your metabolic health. For personalized care, visit chicagoarthritis.com to book an appointment. Thank you for watching. Stay strong, stay healthy, and live well.